on any given page like this one, you can open the Chrome Developer Tools by clicking on the shortcut listed in Tools, Developer Tools. As you can see, Chrome DevTools provides a series of tabs that allow you to debug and inspect your web apps. For example, you can select any element on the page by right-clicking the element and selecting Inspect Element. Or, as I'll do here, you can click on the magnifying glass and hover over the area that you would like to inspect. Let's take a look at the unordered list of floor selectors. Let's change the text in one of the floor selectors. We can do that by simply expanding the element that contains it and then editing it live on the page. You can also make live edits to the CSS. Let's take a look at changing the selected floor class. Here, I can set the background color to whatever I want. For example, blanched almond, because who doesn't like blanched almonds? Because the background color is now pretty light, we may also want to change the text color. Chrome DevTools provides a handy color picker for that. We can pick any color we want. Shift-clicking the color picker allows you to cycle through the different color schemes, RGB, HSL, and so on. If we scroll a little bit further to our Floor Selector class, we can play around with the different settings there. You can use the scroll wheel to cycle through the different sizes. And we can set the border width in a similar fashion. As you can see, Chrome DevTools provides you with rich functionality to edit and inspect your pages. And that was just one tab. We'll be diving deeper into the Network, Timeline, and Profiles tabs with Colt McKendless in the Performance Lesson. And we'll cover the Resources tab in more detail in the lesson about offline and storage.